Hi, I decided to make this video uh, about the movie I watched um, yesterday. Um, I'm planned. Yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to do this new thing where I walk and talk. Um, okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I think I went into the movie, so I'm pro-life. So I feel that it's an issue that most people haven't really thought about and talked about um, because it's a horrible thing that is happening and people tend to dehumanize the babies so that they can pretend it's not happening. So I have very strong views on that um, and I usually get quite upset although I try not to show it, but um, people are not talking about it. Um, it's really quite heartbreaking sometimes when I hear about babies dying and things are not being done. You know, good people are not saying anything. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I braced myself to watch this. I thought that there would be many scenes of abortion or stuff like that, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't except for one uh, ultrasound um, image at the beginning. I think it was uh, less than a minute. Um, but I felt that I felt that the movie was um, actually portrayed the pro-choice clinic workers quite sympathetically. Or oh, before I forget, I'm playing this actually the personal story of Abby Johnson. Abby Johnson was the clinic director of a Planned Parenthood clinic in Texas. And um, Planned Parenthood is a health, a women's health clinic. And one of its uh, services that it provides is abortions. So it's, um, it's about her story, being eight years involved in the clinic. Uh, and also being one of his youngest directors over there. Um, so I used to think that people who work in abortion clinics surely, surely will know what's going on. It was an interesting perspective to see that these people were sincerely believed that they were helping women and standing up for women's rights. They were very sincere about it and they really wanted to help the women about very, very misguided ways. Yeah, and I think what really stood out for me is the compassion that, um, that was extended towards the other side, so to speak. Um, I think it was quite a fair portrayal of the of pro-life. There are some of us who are very militant in our stand and can be quite cruelly and aggressively so um, through the choice of words we speak and all that. But um, there are also others. I think one of the workers, I think it was the Coalition of Life, there was this lady, I can't remember her name, you know, but she was always standing outside Planned Parenthood and uh, praying and make friends with Abby Johnson and uh, just a compassionate approach, you know, not condemning, um, but prayer uh, was quite inspiring, it was quite inspiring and I think what I saw was really the hand of God, I mean, killing babies and not killing babies shouldn't even be a religious issue. It shouldn't even be a religious issue, but somehow or other, uh, it somewhat is. And so anyway, God does intervene. Uh, if you see how the story goes, you know, there can uh, through lots of prayer and even when things seem really dark. I mean, she was even, she was even um, elected employee of the year, right? And for such a person who 
to turn back, to turn away from all that. You know, for a person who has gone through abortion and stood up for abortion rights or women's rights. Oh, and then to to be to repent. And it's so difficult I think when for the women who find out that it all has been a lie and then you realize what you actually did. I think one of the things that um, I took away from the movie is that uh, more can be done rather than just talking about um, just saying that abortion is wrong and we should change the laws. I think a lot of support infrastructure wise can be given to these uh, women um, to these women who are lost and lost in terms of they don't know what to do they're seeking help uh, they're scared you know in terms of community support like rallying around the pregnant lady you know even the church financially providing for the single moms yeah I think and of course a lot of prayer I think prayer really works yeah uh, unfortunately I don't think it's going to be it's going to be a popular release um, uh, just, to give, just to give you some stats uh, abortion abortion was allowed in Singapore in 1969 and it has been about 50 years and since that time almost I know it's more than 600,000 between 600 to 700,000 Singaporeans mostly Singaporeans were killed in their mother's wombs if I may put it bluntly we say we face a falling birth rate and we wonder why right and we still have these laws so if the number numbers are like that you can well imagine it's 7,000 human beings murdered sorry 7,000 babies aborted every year that's about one every one and a half hours and um, we have very liberal abortion laws you can actually abort a girl can actually abort without parental consent um, in Singapore you can't even go to an RA movie if you're below 21 you know or serve you only start serving national service at age 18 right you can't smoke cigarettes at a certain age but you can abort without as a minor without telling your parents why um, I think more protection uh, can be made for women and women's rights real women and women's rights I think a lot of us have to speak up and not just speak but also to support in very tangible ways through volunteers through fundraising yeah and you know make make people aware of this issue so um yeah this is my sharing for today and i'll see you in the next video